What is up, Batman fans? I'm Tommy from ZD Comics, and welcome to episode 3 of Batman Character Spotlight. Today, the spotlight will be pointing at Hush. Before I begin, I apologize for not posting these videos sooner than later. It's just... I've been busy, you know? I mean, I got school started and everything. I'm trying to get back into the groove. I'm doing a lot better this year already. I mean, my GPA, if, it, if this was freshman year, I would be a lot higher. I mean, it's, I'm a little bit stressed out for school, but it doesn't matter. But anyway, the game has been delayed to June 2nd. Most of you probably already know that, so... Now that it's late, like, you know, delayed six months, I really am not worried about posting these videos as much as I could be. Like, expect... Uh, like, I'll be posting Arkham videos at least every week. It's just six more months you know um, mainly it's just going to be news and then arkham character spotlight but i got like 50 characters to you know to make videos on so don't worry anyway today i'll be talking about hush he has been a character that tons of people have been talking about and i mainly want to focus on the story so first i'm going to give off hush's actual origin story which most of you might not know so anyway hush's real name is thomas elliott Thomas Elliot was Bruce Wayne's child friend, like, since they were born. I mean, this is the friend that he had from zero to basically his parents' death. And actually, till he went off to, you know, scourge the world and become the Batman. So, all the whole his whole life, Thomas Elliot was kind of psycho. He was a weird, messed up child. Not that odd to the point that you would notice it, but kind of mentally. Like, you can't, like, it was all in his head. He was, like, an overthinker. He was really weird. And basically... He had an obsession with Bruce Wayne. He was jealous of Bruce Wayne. I mean, who can't be jealous of Bruce Wayne? But he took it to the next level, to the point where he actually tried murdering his own parents when he was only like 12 or 10 years old, you know, when, when Bruce Wayne's parents died. And basically, you know, Thomas Elliot was like, oh, Bruce Wayne's, Bruce's parents died. I want to be like him, so I'll kill my parents. And he actually half succeeded. So it's pretty intense. And pretty much Bruce Wayne left to become the Batman, and Thomas Elliot still never left that obsession of becoming, you know, Bruce Wayne. And now that Bruce Wayne left, he was angry. And as you know, in Arkham City, that basically that origin probably still stands is that he became Bruce Wayne by actually killing people, you know, literally mashing them up and then putting the, a face of Bruce Wayne on him to the fact that, like, he looks scarred up, but he looks like Bruce Wayne, which is, like, kind of weird, you know? It's like he's so obsessed with Bruce Wayne that he became Bruce Wayne. And he literally looks exactly like Bruce Wayne. You could, you actually saw it in the Arkham games. And what's surprising that in the Arkham games that the whole Hush's storyline, Hush is a big character, and he they kind of they kind of like just gave it to him in a side mission. I felt like if they were gonna reveal that Hush was like Thomas Elliot and looked like Bruce Wayne, they would have done it in an actual story and not just in like a side mission. But I'm pretty cool with that. I feel like that in Arkham Knight we're gonna get the actual origin of Hush. Now, let me explain the ending of the Hush story. Basically, the ending of the Pacific comic book ends with Batman, Catwoman, and Hush in an all-out battle, and Hush actually gets help from the Scarecrow. That's where I wanted to point on. So, basically, the final boss battle in that comic, kind of, which isn't really a boss battle, I just kind of... My definition of the ending battle is this boss battle. So, pretty much, it was Hush, Scarecrow, Catwoman, Batman. And when you think about it, Scarecrow is, in the story of Arkham Knight, is the main villain, without a doubt, he just wants to reign terror, he's just like, he's a classic villain that wants to destroy Gotham and the entire east and eastern seaboard and eventually the world by setting off a bomb of like his toxin, a new, newly made toxin. So my guess is that, just like how Arkham Knight is working for Scarecrow, Hush is also working for Scarecrow and possibly an ending boss battle could be Scarecrow, Hush, Batwoman, and maybe Catwoman can be thrown in there too to kind of resemble what the Hush's storyline was because it was a great storyline. It was one of the best Batman origins, and I can say without a doubt that I feel like maybe that could be introduced into the boss battle into the next game because the origin that we did see in Arkham Knight wasn't really an origin of Hush. It was kind of like a little tidbit of a, a, like a little cliffhanger. So I feel like Arkham Knight is really going to express that actual origin story of Hush. So that is actually Hush's entire origin for you is actual origin and then i kind of you know based it to arkham city so my guess is this is just a speculation in arkham knight hush will be working with scarecrow and sort of how arkham knight is kind of taking advantage of scarecrow i think hush is going to be doing the same thing hush asriel arkham knight and scarecrow those four villains are my speculation on the top four main villains like that are going to be in the game like it's them. They all tie up into one amazing story. And I'm going to talk about Asriel 
in my next video. So if you have any questions or Q&A questions on Azrael, please let, leave them in the comment section down below. And I actually am going to be answering quite a few of your guys' questions. You know, I kind of pretty much finished the video. But now I just want to go on and answer all the questions you left for me about Hush. So the first one is from Nathan Bates. He says, what do you think Hush will do as Bruce Wayne as all the citizens have escaped the city? What would that have made him a target for enemies? Or will a supervillain, Penguin, or Two-Face kill him? My guess is that Hush doesn't, like he looks like Bruce Wayne, but you can tell it's not Bruce Wayne because of the scars, you know? But then again, I guess someone could mistake him for Bruce Wayne because people don't know what Bruce Wayne, you know, always looks like. They could be like, oh, Bruce Wayne got, you know, caught up in a contraption, now his face is messed up. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I don't think that Hush looking like Bruce Wayne is actually going to affect the actual story. The only thing I can think of is maybe him as Bruce Wayne goes to the GCPD and tries tricking them for some reason, but in honesty, he doesn't really look like Bruce Wayne in general, and I don't think anybody's actually going to kill Hush, but good question though. The next one is scrolling up here. Carson Crossbot asks, do you think Hush will work with Scarecrow or will he be independent? I already answered that question in the video and I think he will be working with Scarecrow without a doubt. The next question from Joseph Squartz. Sorry for my mispronunciation. I'm very bad at saying names. But Z and T, do you think Hush will be a bigger threat to Batman than just the doppelganger to Bruce Wayne? Since he cut off his face and replaced it with Bruce's look, I personally think he'll get a nice side mission. Thanks, and as always, great video. That is a great question, and like you said, I think he's going to have a side mission. I think he's going to be actually a part of the story. You know, I don't think he's going to have a side mission at all. I think he's going to be the main part of the story, and you'll actually have to go up against him, sort of like how, you know, Mr. Freeze, Clayface, and Solomon Grundy were in Arkham City. That's what Hush is going to be. He's not going to have a side mission. That's just my guess, and I think that, you know, the doppelganger of Bruce Wayne, I don't think that's going to have much to do with it. I think that's going to involve lots of the dialogue, and it's going to involve lots of childhood past memories, such as, you know, you know, remember me, Thomas Elliot, and maybe Batman will confess that he's Bruce Wayne to him. And, you know, don't forget, maybe Hush is the Arkham Knight, because, you know, Z, uh, you know, so I was about to say my own name, Thomas Elliot having this huge obsession over Bruce Wayne, maybe he found out that Bruce Wayne was Batman, and maybe he's been stalking Batman without Batman knowing. But then again, pretty hard to stalk Batman without Batman knowing, if you know what I mean, he is the darkness. But, like I'm saying, maybe Bruce Wayne or, you know, Hush is actually the Arkham Knight. We never know. The next question comes from Lego Matrix 425 He asks, Why does Hush have a grudge on Batman? How does he become Hush, and does he have specific victims to make his different personalities? So, when you think about it, Hush doesn't have any different personalities. He is Hush, he is Thomas Elliot. Why does Hush have a grudge on Batman? Hush is crazy. Hush is killing people. He kills people to get the face of Bruce Wayne. Someone, if you if you kill someone, Batman's after you. End of story. If someone's gonna stop Hush from looking like Bruce Wayne, which is you know sort of ironic, you can get the point of how interesting the story is. But anyway, if someone's gonna stop Hush, he's gonna be pissed off at that person. End of story right there. Next question comes from Lewis Moore. Do you remember when Arkham Origins they said Joker wasn't in there, but he was was to do a think like they could be doing the same thing in Arkham Knight? Uh, sorry, I kind of read your question wrong. I don't know, but I think you're trying to say is. Uh, do you think that the Joker is going to return? No, I don't think the Joker is going to return, uh, but that wasn't involving Hush, but I'm still going to answer all your questions anyway. Uh, do you think that Hush will be part of the Psy missions, or part of the story mode, maybe both? I would really like to see some cool Hush boss fights. Do you think it could just be some collecting crime scenes like last time? Um, basically what I said, I think that the Hush Psy mission in Arkham City was just a cliffhanger to his main story in Arkham Knight. So no side missions, no collecting crime data. I think he's actually going to be part of the story. Question by Shelly Perito. Who, what do you think Hush is going to do in Arkham Knight like his deal of the story? Pretty much already answered that, but great question. Next question comes from Natalie or Nately Bastida. Sorry, hard to answer your name. Uh, do you think that Hush is really going to be the Arkham Knight? I mean, Arkham City, Batman did say he was going to take care of it in the next day. That's a great question. Batman did say he was going to take care of Hush, and you would think, like, holy crap, Batman must be freaking out about who this person is. 
maybe Hush disappeared, you know? Maybe Hush is only going to return in this game, and Batman's going to be like, holy crap, that's the guy I saw last year in Arkham City. Now, that is just my speculation. It could be totally different. But the next question comes from Demons of Gaming 01. Do you think Hush will have a major role or just a side mission like in City? Wow, this is everyone's question, and like I said, I think he will have a major role. Next question from Jesse Carallo. Do you think you would like it if Hush was hiding in plain sight, but at the same time not? What I mean is what if he made a henchman's face and you had somehow look for him like that? Or would you want to keep it the same as Arkham City or make it a completely new side mission with him? Sorry, I had to read your question odd, but like you're saying right here, I don't think he's going to be hiding in plain sight. I think it's he, he's Hush. I don't think he's really too much about it. I think he's Hush. I think he's Thomas Elliot behind the mask of Bruce Wayne. And I don't think he's going to be, you know, hiding as a thug or anything like that. Next question comes from, who is it up here? Calvin plays, what do you want Hush to do with Bruce's identity in Arkham Knight? That's really the main question. I don't want him to do much about the fact that he's Bruce Wayne's identity. I just want that the fact that he is looking like Bruce Wayne to have an amazing dialogue between Batman and him. And, be, and like Batman is like maybe does reveal the identity of that he's Bruce Wayne and Hush is like freaking out like what? Did not expect that to happen so I hope something like that happens and that's why I don't want him to change his face. I want him to be Bruce Wayne because that's what makes it you know really interesting. The next question comes from Xylil Keegan. He asks, do you think Arkham Knight that Hush will have Bruce Wayne's face still? Yes, Hush will have Bruce Wayne's face still without a doubt. Next question comes from JCRZ. Question. In Batman Arkham Knight gameplay trailer released at E3, there was a hospital that said Thomas Elliot Memorial Hospital. I saw it in Batman Arkham videos, analysis breakdown. Do you think that Hush is dead? Uh, no. I think that Thomas Elliot is in fact not dead because you think about it, Thomas Elliot isn't really a person anymore. He became Bruce Wayne. So, you know, the fact that, uh, you know, Thomas Elliot's parents were also doctors with, you know, Bruce's father and everything like that. It would make sense for one, his family to have a hospital, and the fact that, you know, the main, just like the community would think that Thomas Elliot is dead, just like how they thought Bruce Wayne was dead, so they made a memorial hospital for him. And, you know, Thomas Elliot, everyone thinks he's dead, but really he's not, you know? You know what I mean? The next question comes from Samus Duffy. Do you think that Hush is dead? After all, in the gameplay demo, there was a hospital that said Elliot Memorial Hospital. Just answer that question. So of course the answer is the same as the last one and that is going to wrap up today's video I answered tons of questions this video has been going on for like 13 minutes now that is my character spotlight on Hush pretty much everything about him in Batman Arkham Knight anything besides that could be is he gonna be playable no will there be any skins for him probably not will he be in the story yes side mission no is he dead no Pretty much all the questions you can think of, I just answered right there in that like 30 seconds. So anyway, my next character spotlight is on Azrael, so leave any questions down below. This was Tommy from ZD Comics, and you have a great day. Ready, aim, fire.